Hi, my name is Ed Frawley. In today's newsletter, we're going to talk about uh, how to break up a dogfight. A lot of people don't understand the, how dangerous it is to break up a dogfight. Um, we have a web page on our website called dogbites.htm where people send us pictures about how they got bit and 95 percent of those photographs came from people trying to break up a dogfight and most of them are from people that are trying to break up a dogfight between their own dogs. Now there's a right and a wrong way to do this, a safe way and a non-safe way. The non-safe way, you have photographs if you go to this, uh, graphic photographs, if you go to this web page. The right way to break up a dogfight is with two people. I'm going to tell you how to do it with two people and then I'm going to tell you how to do it if you're alone. Now, obviously, for the sake of our newsletter, we have no intentions of starting a dogfight and showing how to break this dogfight up. For the purposes of the video, we're going to demonstrate how to do this with Rainy when she's playing tug outside and we're going to just demonstrate how to get this uh, end of the police leash around the dog. The right way to do it when there's two people is you have a big ball. It's loud, it's violent, uh, it's unnerving. So you need to stop, you need to pause, you need to gather yourself. Each person gets on, on one side of the ball you reach in and you grab the back legs of a dog. When you see that the other person has the back legs of the other dog, you pull them apart by the back legs. Once the dogs are apart, you start to move them in a circle. The reason for moving them in a circle is that you want the dog to have to continue to go in a circle around you so that they can't turn and curl and bite you. In the initial split, when you pull them apart, it's like two people being in a fight and somebody reaches in. Just the adrenaline alone will cause a dog to turn and snap. They don't know it's you. They don't know what it is. They're in the heat of the moment and they just turn and bite. So when you pull them apart, you need to get them out of that mode and thinking about something else other than the dog fight. And by moving them in a circle, it takes a split second, but they come out of that mental mode. By you keep moving them and moving them in a circle, as you back away, they're in less and less of the dogfight mode. What has to happen is one of those people has to pull their dog into another room, into another dog yard, or far enough away so that they can reach in and get a hold of the dog, either with a leash uh, or something else, so that the dog doesn't turn and go back into the fight. If you release a dog too quick, he's gonna turn and go straight back into the fight. So it's your job to figure out your circumstances uh, to what you're going to do before you release the dog. Now, that's how to break up a dog fight if there's two people. A lot of times, people are involved in a dog fight where they're the only one around. Uh, you can use some of the same concepts if you're the only person. We sell these, uh, these leashes with all these buckles and snaps on them. They're a police leash, but quite frankly, we sell a lot of them to people who have to break up a dog fight when they're the only person there. The way it works is you take the leash and you have a big ball and it's loud and it's crazy and you focus and you go in and you take, you take this much of the leash and we're gonna show it to you on the screen here behind me and you reach it around the belly of the dog and you clip it. So it's right around the loin of the dog. So it's, your dog's hind legs are here and the fight is here. You've got the dog now by the belly. You take, you take the pile, and that's what I call the dog fight. You take the pile, you drag it to a tree, or you drag it to a door, and you slam this leash in the door. If you can take it to a tree, you can wrap it around a tree like this, so that the dog's loin is here, the tree is here, now the pile is anchored the pile is anchored to one spot. If you're in the house and you have the pile, you take this leash and you put it through a door and you slam the door on it. So now the pile is anchored. Then you go around to the other side and you grab that dog by the back legs and you pull him apart. And you grab that dog and you pull him into an, by the back legs. And when you pull him apart, you spin him and you pull him quickly into another room because the dog that's tied to here is going to want to continue this fight. So that's how you do it, either with two people 
or with one person. So the dogs were, you know, simulating a dog fight here. Jeff's gonna come in and get Rainy by the back legs. Good girl, good girl. Good. Okay, that's it. Okay, so the, the video ju you just saw showed how if you don't turn fast enough, you're gonna give your dog the opportunity to turn and bite you. So when you pull these dogs apart, you need to spin and turn fast. Now I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna say that breaking up a dog fight is a very dangerous thing to do. I tell people it's like picking a fight. Don't pick a fight you're gonna lose. If you're a small person, if you're a small woman and you have two big dogs fighting, may be a situation where you're gonna to have to let them fight it out because it's too dangerous for you to step in and try and pull these dogs apart. It, you may get them apart, but if you don't spin fast enough, in certain circumstances, those dogs can turn and bite you. So you need to be careful. You need to think twice before you jump in and try and break up a dog fight. Like I said, go to the website that we have on uh, uh, Learberg.com forward slash dogbites.htm. You're gonna see a whole lot of pictures of people who did this wrong. So think long and hard before you go and do it. For those people that have dogs that uh, are inclined to fight, I've produced a video on how to establish pack structure with your dog. Uh, and, I've and I've produced another video on dealing with dominant and aggressive dogs. If you have a problem with your dogs fighting, I would recommend both of those videos. Um, once dogs have fought, once dogs have started the fight, they're always going to fight. So don't kid yourself in thinking that you're going to train this out of your dog. So if you have any more questions, go to our website. We've got good articles on this, good videos on it. Mm -hmm.